punched you! After just slapping me? No! I said... <laughs> okay, okay, what do you want? Start dancing! Energy! Yeah! Start singing! You love me. Are you right? Start singing louder! You never ever leave from beside me. Louder! I want you. And I need you. And I'm down with you always. Scapey, do you love me? Are you right there? What's up? So there's a new trend going on around Instagram right now. It's where people ask each other to ask them questions. Well, it's not really new. It's new to me. You know, that's just... Mm. It's not... Mm. It's stupid as hell and I hate it. And people are having fun with it, you know? People are having fun asking each other to ask them questions. It's so fun. It's like you've never asked a human being in real life in a conversation a question before. <laughs> It's brand new, it's fun. Now me being the CEO and founder of Instagram, it's really easy to just be talking shit and shitting on these people who are having fun. You know, it's just so easy. But I'm not gonna be talking shit about these people, I'm not. They're having fun with it. And I don't wanna be the party pooper, you know, that poops on their fun, that poops on their party. So I wanna help out. I prepared a few questions and we're gonna go through them together. So we're gonna start off with the get to know questions since, you know, social media in general is the perfect way to get to know people. So question one, what's your favorite book? Pretty basic question, everyone loves reading. So with this question, we can basically get an idea on what kind of personality the person you're trying to get to know has. If they like storybooks, maybe they're the type of person to have a nice deep conversation with. If they like self-help books, learning books, or even knowledge books, maybe they're the type of person to have a nice intellectual conversation with. What's your favorite movie? Okay, same thing with the books, you can get an idea on their personality based on the type of movie they like. Is it like comedy? Maybe they're a funny person. If they like romantic movies, maybe they're into romantic dates or romantic things that you do for them. Maybe they like that. If they like horror, maybe when you get home one day they'll rip off all your fingernails and peel your skin off. I mean, it just depends. Are you a dog or cat person? Dogs or cats? I mean, people are pretty split on this since, you know, they're both cute and they both make good house pets. I mean, even I'm having a hard time answering this question because I like them both. What's your favorite hobby? A great question. This one connects to all our previous questions. Do they like reading books or watching movies? Do they like walking their dog or even staying at home playing with their cat? Again, a great question to get to know someone personally. What's your head in talent? I mean, some people like playing the piano, cooking, or even knitting sweaters. It's a really good question that really dives deep into the other person's world because you're talking about their interest. In. You're talking about something they don't really tell anyone else except you because you asked. That's why it's called a head in talent. They don't tell anyone else. What's something you've done that made a positive impact on the world? Well, you do want to know if the person you're trying to get to know is a good person. And what better way to find that out than by asking them what good they've done in this world. What's something you recommend other people to do to feel better about themselves? This is important because you want to know if the person you're trying to get to know is not a selfish person. You'd want to know if they've ever went out of their way to make someone else feel better about themselves. You want to know. So now we're going to be asking questions to our friends. Why were you only friends in high school? Have you ever stabbed each other in the back? Did you ever snitch on your friend when he was drawing those penises in the school toilet? And why did you tell the professor that your friend cheated even though he didn't, just so you could have a higher grade? I mean... We also got some questions for the family. So I arranged these questions in a questionnaire format. They're arranged in bullet points, so it's more straightforward and easier for your parents to answer. You're welcome. I'm thoughtful. I'm like that. I'm great. So we're going to start off with your favorite TV show, favorite meal, social security number, and credit card number. You know, just basic information that every parent should be telling their kids. So I like to call the next part, flip the script. Parents get to ask the kids the questions this time. So we got five reasons to keep paying child support and why should I stop calling you an accident. This one is to be answered in 1,000 words, area font size 12, including citations. Love is in the air. We also got some questions for the couples. You know the people flooding your Instagram with their relationship goals pictures? Yeah. We got some questions to be asking y'all too. Why do you guys keep posting pictures? Are you trying to make me jealous of your love? And can you please stop posting pictures? Please.
So you know how these couples always like to do this him or her or his or hers kind of thing? So we're also going to be doing something like that. Need sexual healing, darling, till you come back home. Please don't procrastinate. It's not good to masturbate. Heal me.